Hey guys, welcome to this triangle perimeter video. Andy Math. What is the perimeter of this triangle? And it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a hypotenuse of six. So there's two ways to do this. First way is recognizing this is 45, 45, which would mean both of these are equal to each other. And then we can just do Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. So Pythagorean theorem says x squared plus x squared equals six squared because Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then this becomes 2x squared equals, and then 6 squared is 36. And the reason there's 2x squared is because there's two of them, x squared and x squared. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x squared equals 18. And the square root both sides, and we get x equals root 18. And the root 18 can be simplified we make a factor tree for the 18, it gives us 9 times 2 and 3 times 3. Circle the primes. And so root 18 is the same thing as square root of 3 times 3 times 2. And since we have two 3s, they can leave and go out. So it becomes 3 root 2. So each of these sides is 3 root 2. So now the perimeter is going to be 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 plus six, I just added up the three sides. Three root two plus three root two is six root two plus six. This is the answer to the question. And to give it a label, we could say units. And that's it. The other way to do this would be to recognize it as a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And in all 45, 45, 90 triangles, this side is x, this side is x, and this side is root two times whatever those sides are. So given that we know that this hypotenuse is six, we can set the six equal to root two x, because we know that this side is root two x, and we also know that this side is six. So now solve for x, divide both sides by root two, and we get x equals six over root two. Now we can't have something over a root, so we're gonna multiply top and bottom by root two. Root two times root two is two, and then six times root two is six root two. And then we can simplify. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and we get x equals 3 root 2, which is what we got on the other side too. And then we just add them up for the perimeter. Either of these two ways will work. Probably the easiest one is just to do Pythagorean theorem. But if you know your 45, 45, 90 triangle rules, you can also bust that out. So if these make sense, for more practice, I have some links down below. Feel free to check them out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.